Elections authorities here in Maryland say it's a good bet you've never seen one of these before. It's a ballot drop box, and it's the newest alternative to casting your vote in the age of pandemic social distancing and after doubt sowed by President Trump about voting by mail. Montgomery and Prince George's counties are both rushing now to get even more drop box locations approved, according to the State Board of Elections. According to their application, Montgomery County is seeking approval for 40 more drop box sites to put mostly at early voting centers and at 25 high schools. Prince George's wants 36 more sites. Here's Gilberto Zelaya for Montgomery County. So we got you covered. They're secure. We have two bipartisan staff members emptying out those ballot bins every day. So here is what you need to do to use one of these drop boxes in Maryland. First, you have to be registered to vote. The deadline for that is October 13th. Next, you have to get a ballot. In Maryland, that means requesting one. That can be done online right now through the State Board of Elections website. Or you can text message the letters VBM, that's vote by mail, to 77788. Or you can wait until you get an application in the mail. By order of Governor Larry Hogan, every registered voter will be sent an application to the address on file by the end of the month. Once you get the application, you need to fill it out and send it back. The deadline to get it in is October 20th. At that point, elections officials will process the application and send you a ballot. As soon as you get your ballot, you can vote. But now an important detail, the ballot must be put in the envelope it came with, which is barcoded and tracked for security, and the envelope must be signed to verify it's you. Now you can take that envelope to a drop box and put it in. You can also send the ballot by U.S. mail as long as it's postmarked no later than November 3rd. Or you can vote the old-fashioned way in person at an early voting center beginning October 26th or on Election Day at one of the fewer polling locations that will actually be open. According to the State Board of Elections, less than 300 in-person polling places are approved so far statewide. Normally there are more than 2,000. With so few in-person polling places approved here in Maryland, elections authorities expect the new options like drop boxes or vote by mail are going to carry the load. They're warning us right now to be prepared for things to be very different and to prepare now, not at the last minute, for how to cast your vote. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.